Okay, today I'm going to take you along in a guided baby wearing workout. So this workout is perfect if you have a baby who doesn't want to be put down or if you just want to use baby's nap time to do some other things. And it's a really, really great way to increase the intensity of your workout and also have some fun bonding time with baby. So I would recommend this workout for at least eight weeks postpartum, but because we're adding weight, holding our baby, you may want to wait until maybe 10, 12 weeks, depending on how you're feeling. All you're going to need for this workout in terms of equipment is one dumbbell and of course your baby and your wrap or carrier. And then you may also use a band if you want to modify some of these dumbbell movements. So go ahead and grab your wrap and grab your baby and let's get started. Okay, so let's just start with a quick warm up. We're just gonna start by marching in place for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna go into shoulder rolls. I always like to keep one hand on the baby. So we're just gonna start with one arm. Two, three, four, five, backwards. One, two, three, four, five, switch arms. One, two, three, four, five, other way. One, two, three, four, Five, one more time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Arm circles for one, two, three, four, five. Switch directions. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, forward, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, grab a quick sip if you need it. Now this is a workout, it's a, a descending ladder workout. So this is awesome if you like this type of workout where you feel like you're checking stuff off the list. So we're gonna have a few moves. We're gonna go through each one 12 times, 10 times, eight times six, four, and finally two of each movement. So we're gonna start with squats. You can just follow along with me. You want your feet to be about shoulder distance apart, toes facing forward, knees pressing out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold baby with two hands. You may also, if your baby's taller, need to hold their legs out of the way so that you can get some depth on your squat. So we're gonna count 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. So now go ahead and grab your dumbbell. If you don't have a dumbbell, that's perfectly fine. You can fill up a water bottle and use that. So we're gonna do a curl to press, again, on one side so you can support baby with the other hand. So curl to press, that's one, two, at the top, you want the arm to be right next to the ear, that's three, four, standing up nice and tall and straight, five, squeezing your glutes, six, exhaling on the way up, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, you got it, eleven, Last one, and 12. Awesome, go ahead and switch sides. Same thing here on the other side. One, two, feet should be right underneath your hips. Three, four, all the way extending at the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, last two right here, eleven, and twelve. Very good. So set your dumbbell off to the side. We're going to go into a lateral lunge to reverse lunge. 
So whatever leg you're stepping with is the leg that's gonna bend. Support baby with both hands here. So lateral lunge, reverse lunge, that's one. Lateral lunge to the other side, reverse lunge, that's two. Three, really focus on hips back on that lateral lunge. Four, toes stay forward. Five, six, seven, baby loves this one. Eight, you might hear him laughing. Nine, hips back, knee down, 10, two more. 11, last one, and 12. Very good. So we're gonna go back to upper body now. Grab your dumbbell again. Now we're gonna do a bend over row, but if you don't feel comfortable bending over with baby in the wrap, I'm gonna show you an option when I do side two. So you could be here for one, two, dumbbell towards the hip, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, 12. So maybe that was perfectly comfortable for you. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side or if you have a band, you can hook it up to a doorknob or in between the door and the molding and you're gonna pull. That way you don't have to be quite so bent over. So two, three, or maybe you still have your dumbbell here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good, we have one last movement in the series and then we're gonna go back through all of them, only we're gonna only do 10 this time. So we're gonna do tall kneeling to standing. You wanna start with your butt down on your heels. You're gonna squeeze your butt, step forward, tuck the back toes to stand up tall at the top. So that's one. Back down, butt to heels, other side, two. This move is so functional, so practical. You probably already do something similar about a thousand times a day. That's three. So it's just nice to put this in our training routine. So you get an opportunity to practice with good form. Four, squeeze here, tuck the toes, five, Six, seven, it's so easy to forget what side you're on. It won't matter in the end too much anyway. Eight, almost there. Nine, 10, 11, last one and 12. Okay, quick shake it out. Grab that sip of water if you need it here. If you need to press pause, that's fine. Come right back, we're gonna get started. Round of 10, same moves, 10 times instead of 12. 10, you see what I mean, how good it feels to check off these reps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, grab your dumbbell, curl to press, curl and press, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just one more here, 10 and switch, curl to press, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Dumbbell off to the side, lateral lunge, to reverse lunge. Here we go, butt back, step back. That's one, two, three, four. If you need to move at a slower pace,
pace, that's perfectly fine. Or maybe you're ready to pick up the pace. Whatever feels right to you and your body is what you want to do. That's seven, I think. <laughs> Eight. Nine, so you're feeling this glutes, hamstrings, and quads. That's 10. So now to the rows. I'm gonna go ahead and do both sides with the dumbbell this time, and then I'll switch the band for next round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, ten reps here, ten, nine, tall chest, flat back, seven, six, five, four, weight in the heels, three, two, one, and now everyone's favorite. I know, tall kneeling to standing. So down on your knees, butt to heels, squeeze the glutes, step forward, making sure you're tucking that toe so you can press it into it as you stand up. So pressing into the front heel and into the back toe. That's three. Squeeze the glutes here, four, Five, standing up nice and tall. Six, seven, think about exhaling on the way up. Eight, nine, last one, and ten. Again, grab a sip if you need it. We're gonna go back through the whole thing. Only now we only have eight reps to do. You see why I like this workout? It really feels like you're getting something done. So if you need a little extra rest, pause here, come back when you're ready. If not, let's get right into our round of eight. One, two, here's from the side. Three, four, five, weight in the heels. Six, seven, this is it right here. Eight, very good. By the end, you'll be wanting to do more. <laughs> Curl and press for one, two, three, four, five, all the way to the shoulder on that curl. Six, seven, last one, eight. Switch sides. One, two, so you can see where my arm is at the top, behind the ear, three. If that's possible for you, go for it. Four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. So nice, dumbbell up to the side, lateral lunge to reverse lunge. So like four on each side now, so nice, two, Three, if you find that you're losing your balance, really try to engage your core a little more and slow down if you need to. That's five, hips back. Here's six, seven, and last one already. That's eight. So now I'm gonna show you again with the band in case that's the modification you're using. If not, continue on with your dumbbell. So just a slight hinge here. Pull for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switching sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tall kneeling to standing, but only eight reps this time. Here we go. Really squeeze to come up, press into those feet for one. Two, remember that you can always move slower, move at the pace that feels comfortable for you. Three, listen to your body. Four, five, six, seven, last one and eight. 
grab water. We have three more rounds. Six, four, two, but they're short. So maybe if you're still feeling good, you've been taking it slow, now's the time to increase the pace a little if you feel comfortable with it because the reps are shorter. So again, if you need a pause, come back with us when you're able to, that's fine. If not, let's get into the round of six. I'll show you again from the side. Here we go. Six, five, it's so quick. Four, three, two, and one. This is always so motivational to me because I'm like, oh, six reps, that's not bad, I can do that. One, two, three, four, oh, excuse you, five, last one, six, and switch. Curl and press for one, two, three, four, five, last one, six, dumbbell off to the side, alternating lateral lunge to reverse lunge, right into it for one, two, whoops, almost lost my balance on that one, three, four, five, and this is it. Six, grab that dumbbell again, bend over rows. Here we go, supporting baby with one hand. Two, three, four, five, six, other side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Kneeling to standing. I'll show you from the front this time. So butt to heels. Engage the glutes. One. Hip bridge there. Two. Three. Four. You might even find yourself utilizing this move later today when you're playing with baby. Five. Last rep. And six. Okay. Two more rounds, four and two, and then we're done. Well, let's just do it. One, two, three, four, easy peas. Curl to press for one, two, three, four. Tell your baby, hang in there. We're almost done. One, really engaging the core, two, three, because you're supporting your baby too, and four, weight off to the side, here we go, right into lateral lunge, reverse lunge for one, two, three, and four, and then we're going into our rows, band if you want to, use that band, one, two, three, four, just because we're moving a little faster, getting close to the end, doesn't mean you want to slack on form. It's even more important towards the end of the workout when you're fatigued to focus in on form. So still giving that a lot of attention. Hip thrust there, standing up tall. That's one. Two, focus on your breath. Match your breath to your movement. Three, Last one, right here, four, and let's just get right into that last round. Of course, if you need that break, take it, but if not, if you're ready to go, that's one. That's two. We're moving quick, we're moving. Curl to press for one. Last one here, two. It's like you just wanna go on. More, 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 one. And two, so nice. Lateral lunge, reverse lunge. Here it is. One, and two, and then I'll show you with the band for the last time if you're doing that option. One, two, other side. One, two, and finally, tall kneeling to standing. Here we go, just one on each. Tap that back toe, 
Press into the feet for one. And two. Oh, we did it. We made it through. See, so quick. You see why I like that format? You're just chipping away with it. Really feels like you've accomplished something. Let's just do a quick stretch. So if you're near a wall, you can hold onto the wall for support. You're gonna reach back, grab your leg, tuck your hips under. So you're kind of imagining pulling your belly button towards your chin and then draw that knee back. So while maintaining that tuck, you're drawing the knee back. And we're just holding here for a few deep breaths. In the nose, let the belly expand, out the mouth, belly deflates. Last breath here. And then while you're standing here by the wall, go ahead and cross that leg over. Support baby with your hand. So your, your foot is just up on your knee here, pushing the hips back. So a nice little hamstring glute stretch there. One more deep breath here. Inhale, exhale. Let's switch sides. So grabbing that foot, grabbing that ankle. Again, first step, engage the belly towards the chin, tuck the hips, and then draw the knee back without undoing the tuck. That's key for getting this hip flexor stretch is to not undo the tuck. So we're holding here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Go ahead and bring that ankle to your opposite leg. Support baby if that feels comfortable to you. Press the hips back. Feel that really nice external hip, glute, hamstring stretch here. One more deep breath. Good, standing all the way up. We'll just do a quick, quick arm stretch here. So you can reach up, push down on one elbow. Open the arms up and then the other elbow. Very good, open the arms up, pull one arm across. Oh, that's a little harder with your baby in the way. Nice shoulder stretch, big baby hug. And then open and close, baby hug on the other side. Yes, there we go. Okay, thank you all so much for following along with me. Hopefully both you and baby had a good time. And now nap time is free for whatever it is else that you need to do today. Okay, thank you so much.